What's going on guys, Vulcan here, and today we're going to be checking out Return to Nangrim. So this is like a dwarven adventure game, it's a first person uh, perspective, and there's a lot of crafting involved, there's combat, everything you like about dwarves um, is, is in here, so really cool stuff. Um, now this is a playable teaser, right? So this isn't like the full game or anything like that, this demo is out on Steam, it's available right now, you can go out, check it out yourself. But we're going to go ahead, fire up a new game, and see what Return to Nangrim is all about. Okay, so the following experience is not a fully-fledged demo, nor a vertical slice. It's just a thing that contains some selected features in alpha state to give an impression of the look and feel of the final game. Main features like combat or the Crystal Garden are not yet available in this build. All right. If a dwarf is in the mines, the smithy are in the battlefield. You'll probably find him. It went too fast. Okay. Brimfells, Northern Nangrum. Oh, we got a cinematic. All right, let's see how this goes. Oh, look at that big dwarf statue over there. They came as a whisper. Words so quietly wrapped that the truth may not hear. Until that whisper became a growl. Impossible to ignore. Impossible to outvoice. We were not prepared. That which came upon us lied far beyond our imagination. Our plans, strategies, defenses in vain. The accomplishment of generations, the history of families, their joy. Their sorrow shattered in the blink of an eye. We stood strong, axes and hammers drawn. Our army, the guardians with their best beards. Every beard. But the great gates fell, and what followed after soon sealed our fate. In the depths of the mountains, a stone beard uses a mannerly stone's glow to separate night from day, darkness from light. Our glow has not yet gone out, and we will not make room for the darkness. In the midst of the chaos, I hid away our most precious treasure, and in this hour that I know my time has come, I will pass this world knowing that victory is ours. If not today, certainly in a tomorrow that will soon come. By the names of the fallen kings, may Taladoran give us his strength. Okay. I dig it. A dwarven adventure. Perfect. All right, let's go ahead and fire this thing up. So it looks like we're looking for a legendary hammer. I don't know if that's in the playable teaser or not, or if that's just, you know, like hyping up the main game, but here we go. What, what happened? Now we're waking up. Okay, whoa, whoa, sensitive. All right, here we go. Okay, so we are in a crevice. Why are we just laying here on the ground? It's Some... cold. What's this? I should look out for a shelter. I must have brought some equipment with me. Okay. I need to find it first. Okay, so there's a sprint. All right, what do we got here? A stick. I need something to store this in. Okay, can't pick up anything. Ah. Okay, here's a backpack. Backpack. I'll need this for sure. Okay, now can I pick up stuff? I yes. want the handle of an axe. Now, if Taldoron means me well, there might be a chance I'll find the corresponding head. Alright, let's go back over here. Part of a letter. Okay. Oh. Red glowing shroom. 
can't go over that bridge without repairing it first. Is there anything else around here? So we got another red shroom. Can I? Firmly barricaded. Hmm. Okay. Fair enough. All right. So I'm curious how this dude survived. I mean, like, it, they made it, they're hyping it up that, like, all the dwarves are just, like, wiped out. The game's visuals look really good. Even on, like, medium. Those barricades block the way. Can I hit this? Here comes Aldi. Oh, let's go! Alright. <laughs> okay, apparently my fists are not strong enough. Oh, here we go. What is this? Inspect. Oh, it's an accident. Those barricades block the way. Some objects can be combined with others. Combining now, is done through the inventory. I just have to combine those two. Okay. Resources, items, handle an axe. Combine axe head. Rusty old axe. Rusty old axe. Oh. Here we go. Oh gosh. Ah! The <laughs> sensitivity is nuts. It looked like we had these boards back here, too. I wonder if I can cut through these suckers. Oh, oh, I can. What do we got here? A mega, a mega shroom. Some wood. Uh, is that it? Just a, a, a mega shroom and some wood? All right. All right. I wonder if I can I pick up this lantern. That's lame. Look at this. Just, just a random like cross thing, just hanging out in the middle of nowhere. All right, let's go. More shrooms. You'll find him in the tavern. There it is, because it it went too fast last time. Keep your torch close when darkness approaches. Okay. Citadel. I should take a look around. Dwarven training site. Ah. Interesting. What the hell? Okay. Spiders. Sure if I should have a bite. Look at that blood splatter off the spider. What kind of spiders are these? The mosquito spiders? I have no clue when this <laughs> like, there's a key. Maybe I can find uh -uh. Where are you? Show yourself. Okay. The lock still seems to be working. Okay. But so we're missing a key. a key. Okay. This key works. Scriptorium. Well, dusty books and rotten chairs. Dusty books, rotten chairs. I dig it. Mm. Key to the mine. A key to the mine. Okay. So, if I'm putting everything together correctly, this must be Bagon. Bagon. Um, leave as far as you can. There's something coming. I will not abandon my post, but you are not bound to anything. You can run. Please don't waste your potential for us old beards. May Tadorin watch over you, Bagon. Poor Bagon. Look at him. He did his best. He fought valiantly. A spoon. Yes. For some applesauce. Paper. All right, I found the first page. Now let's see what this is all about. Tales and Legends of Arafin. Um, okay, so I need to go to the mines. I just got the mine key. Okay. Lecture one. Reading. Reading. You I probably can't avoid it. Learn learning to read. Can I break this barrel? Oh yeah, let's go. Ooh, look at that. Look at those physics. Hmm. Interesting. Alright, well, scriptorium is done. 
So far, we've just had to fight spiders that splatter blood literally everywhere. So... Oh, let's see that bastard. Come here. Come here. Done. Done. Didn't stand a chance. This door's closed. Okay. I'm looking for the mo Oh, wait. Okay, hold on. There's Brimfells. The mines. Nice. This is what they talked about. Lesson one. Reading. Learning words and letters. I like it. Ooh, check this out. Performance took a hit. That's for sure. All right, so we got some more shrooms. Um, Ashen Tarmarak. Looks like a storm is coming from the south. Mm, yes, a storm is coming from the south. I can tell. Yes. Winds out of the north. They'd be out of the south. I get it, but I'm not a weatherman. I did take meteorology in high school, though. I tell you what. Ooh, look at this. I can't chop wood with a rusty axe. What do we find? Ooh, a broad axe. Oh, yeah. Yes! Look at that wood we're getting, boys. Let's go! We got almost too much wood. Let's get it. We're going to build a house. All right. Um, let's, let's look around a little bit. But yeah, did take meteorology in high school. Fun class. Fun class. Easiest class I've ever done. It's just literally doing like weather reports each day. Ooh, can I like, jump up here? Mm, I don't think so. I can hit a wall. Oof. Frames taking a hit. Then again, this is it's alpha, so it's not like super optimized, but we'll see. All right, so we're looking. We're in the mines. You know, we got some wood. We got this dwarven axe. Let's see. An abandoned mine tunnel. What better place to find some ores? Oh, correct. Dude, oh, there's an ore right here. All right, no dice. I, you know, I didn't think that would work, but I bet the pickaxe is up there. I bet that didn't. Well, let's see. Uh, let's go this way. Ooh. The key to the forge. I did not believe that old librarian has been bag on. I thought the old buffer just buried his nose too far into his books and lost his mind. But as I am here, lying in my blood by Taldoran, was I wrong? Or they, or it is coming from the deep tunnels. That stone widow did not act normal. Interesting. So he's the local mind overseer. Boom. All right. So we got some ore. Yep, there it is. A pickaxe. Do I need to equip it? I wonder. Can I just. Oh, yeah. Wait. Yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, I can. Let's see if this works. Yes. Iron ore. Let's go. There it is. Oh, okay, hold on. I'm like height challenge, so I gotta, I gotta, I gotta jump on rocks and stuff. Uh, all right. Oh, dang! Some more ore. Let's go. I'm gonna be, dude. I'm gonna craft so many pieces. Just so much gear. Hopefully, like a sword, maybe like a shield. I don't know. They said combat's like not a thing in this one, but hopefully, at least get to fight something besides like tiny spiders that bleed like they're people. What's this? Next chapter. Oh. Lecture two, resource gathering. A forge cannot be fired without wood, and all those precious objects and weapons cannot be crafted without ores. Gather them. I'm on it. Oh, that's cool. Oh, what was that? Check this out. That gate blocks my way. I wonder what's on the other side. Um, what looks like a giant ass spider, just FYI. I mean Context clues are telling me the eight legs and the spindliness of it looks like a huge spider, but here I am. All right. Oh, is there any ore? Nope, nothing. All right. So we got a key. I need to look to see what that key is, but there was another direction we could go. Oh, here we go. Let's get some more iron really quick. 
You can never have too much iron. See, that's the thing. Dang. Oof. All right, let me... All right, let's go my inventory. Let's give me resources. So I have 35 iron ore. That's probably good. Uh, dwarven coins are triangles, apparently. Key to the forge. Interesting. Okay. Oh, check it out. Yeah. I don't know what these... <laughs> I don't know what these... Uh, Things. Ooh, this is gold ore. Look, look, look. I don't know what these, like, mushrooms are for, but hopefully something good. Oh, look at this big boy right here. Oh, absolute honker. Let's go. Crush this sucker. Nice. I wonder what this gold ore is going to be used for. Jewelry, maybe? Maybe charms? Trinkets of sort? Dude, could you imagine being like the only dude down here just mining this stuff all day? Like that's your entire existence. Mm. That's intense. Oh, wait, hold on. Yeah, I can get this. Fire landslip. Anything over here? Uh, what a dirt gems, emerald. Oh, look at this thing. Dude. Ugly net weaving thing you are. A giant stone widow has killed the mine overseer. A strange behavior, even for this type of creature. There seems to be something down in the tunnels, but I can't go down there without any equipment. Before I start to forge something, I need to gather the necessary resources. All right. It's dead. All right. So let's go to the forge. Um, so I guess we have to head back into the training site. So we'll go back this direction. I'm curious if I'm going to run into anything different. Like, usually, like, when you backtrack and stuff, you, uh, <laughs> you catch some nasty surprises. Nangrim, though. What do we got going? What, like, what is the history of Nangrim? All right, so we need to go to the forge. Okay, well, it's right here, I guess. Well, I will say, they've conveniently placed all of the doors. It's like, right as you leave one, boom, it's right next door. You know, you don't have to travel, you don't have to look around. Uh, the forge. Forge like work. the dwarves. Oh, look at all this. There must be some plans from the up. smith lying around. Blacksmith's note. Um, there's a whole bunch of stuff over here. Oh my, Atlanta. How to make a spoon? How to make a cup? A battle axe. Let's get it. Okay, cool. The art of smelting. A key part, a key part. Wow, okay, we have a lot of resources in here. Um, let's check our documents. Two. Plans, resources. here. A light battle axe. Oh, you actually have to like forge it. So you have, like, duh, but you actually have to like look at this. Like, oh, hey, what's the recipe? Um, so wood, we got that. We need five iron. One bronze and one dur steel. The temperature level needs to be at three. Basic forging, how to forge a light battle axe with a wooden handle, including instructions on how to decorate the head with common dwarven patterns. Okay. Well, let's see if we can... Another page of the book. Another page. The hammer hits the anvil. Um, okay. So hold on, let's go metals really quick. Well, oh wait, we need to go to the furnace. Hold on, we need to go to the furnace. Um, close flaps, open flaps. Let's clear this. So, we need ore. Do I like? Do I not have any ore? Like, obviously, I have ore. The interesting thing is it's not showing up here. So do I need to put wood in there to start the forge? So like, let's throw five in there. Let's go to the furnace. Yep, there we go. So I need to put this sucker in there, have it at temperature three. 
go to the foundry, drop our iron ore in. Ooh, this is cool. Okay, so let's do like 10, because we need to make a bar, right? Oh, look, it's slowly ticking down. Okay. So, okay, so we casted, we got 10 iron. So one iron ore gives us one iron So we got iron. Ah, okay. This makes sense. I like that. That's really cool. Okay, so we need to, let's go back to our documents. I need one bronze and one dur steel. I think those are in here. So, all right, I guess we're just taking them all. There's no bronze though. You notice that? So I know from um, RuneScape, <laughs> Copper and tin will give us should. The ore needs smelting. Give us um, bronze. All right, so let's cast that. A clump of waste. A clump of waste. Damn it. Hmm. All right, so let's not waste anything else. Where is forging? Extra three, forging. Mm. Ooh, okay. The ore needs smelting. So we probably have to add some more wood in. So we'll do that because I bet that was the problem. So if I add in these two and cast. I should try to smelt it to get back some of the resources. Clump of waste. Um, sure. Let's cast that, I guess. Um, how to get bronze? I thought copper and tin made bronze. Iron makes iron. Curious. Let's see. I know I keep doing I the exact same thing, but I'm curious to see if. Uh, let's see. I wonder if there is. I'm taking these potatoes. Delicious. I wonder if there is a um, another sheet that I'm missing. Where does the smith hide his gold? Where does the smith hide his gold? Because we got black oak. I'm gonna try something. Copper ore plus tin ore. Oh, let's do that. Pass that. We'll get some stuff back. Um, if I just do copper by itself, looks like a clump of waste. Clump of waste. The hammer hits the anvil. Um. Let's see. I need a bronze piece. So how do I get a bronze piece? If only all things were that easy. So I just, hold on, hold, whoa, 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 hold on. So I just clicked it and it and it just worked. Uh, can I just do that? Could be useful at some point. Okay. So I don't, mm, I don't think that's that's working correctly. I'm just gonna throw it out there. Um, it's funny. I got a broad axe that does more damage. 
than this, but I mean, whatever, man. There must be some plans from the Smith flying around. All right, let's go, let's go deeper into the mine. I like that we're sitting there trying to figure out how to make this stupid bronze bar, and then you just open the plant up and you just like forge, and it's like, okay, cool, not a problem. Love ya. We'll uh, we'll just give it to you. Oh, Nangrim, I swear. What a fun time. So my thing is, am I the last dwarf? Like, is this it? The, or did everybody else just abandon post and I'm like an adventurer? Like, is this like a stalker type of thing? Not like a person that follows another person around, but like a person that, you know, like the stalker series of games. Um. Okay. So we got this big spider thing. Like, is this gate gonna open or do I have to bust the gate? Let's go. They won't take our land. The end of this return to what? Oh my gosh. What? What? Dang it. Never judge a dwarf by the adventures he has not yet gone on. Well, that was lame. So we went and we crafted an axe. We did all of this stuff. We checked out the smelting system, the crafting system. We did all that. We got all hyped up. We saw this big ass spider behind here. And then they're like, huh, psych. We'll, uh, we'll see you next year. And I get it, right? This is the Gamescom thing, but lame. Um, there's probably some like Easter eggs or something tucked away in here, but... I think for now that, I mean, that kind of wraps this one up. So, um, the very short thing that we've gotten to actually play, I like it. Um, I think Return to Namgrim is going to be very interesting. I'm curious to see what comes from this game and how deep they go into each system, how deep the crafting system is going to be, how deep the forging system is going to be. So I can't just hit something and it goes, but rather having to figure out how to make copper, how to make bronze and all of those things. Um, the combat system hopefully is going to be interesting. I mean, obviously I have an ax that I can't use, but I'm curious, is it going to be skill based? Like where I just use basic attacks and heavy attacks. I'm not entirely sure, but so far return to Namgrim has my interest and the Steam page is linked in the description below. Thank you everyone for checking out this teaser. Um, and hopefully this game will come out somewhat soon and we'll be able to pick it up and play it. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. This has been Vulcan and I will see you next time.